Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about overhyped languages. So let's get into it. Well, the question here was basically, Frederick, what languages do you feel are overhyped? And this is a good question. It is a suicide question because it basically means that I have to form an opinion on something that is so sensitive to so many people that it is just ridiculous. It's actually funny because I've, I've always, always argued that the language that you use as a professional matters quite often very little. It really only matters to two sort of sorts of people, and that is the evangelists and the beginners, like the or rather the people who are like non-professionals, because no, in no professional developer I've ever met has ever had the attitude that you know, their language is so important to them that they are going to compromise a position or a job or something like that for the sake of using that language. It's really only the die-hard fanatics and the people who have, who aren't really making a living from programming who seems to be care, to care about this. But uh, I will comply and I will say this, I will reverse a little bit on this and just I'm, I'm not going to give you like just some examples of overhyped languages I'm going to give you just a thought so the thing that is interesting to me when it comes to popularity of programming languages and this discussion about what is a up-and-coming language what is an emerging language what is a language that has this type of hype or velocity that we talk about the the thing is that if you look at the, like the overall usage of programming languages, the languages who actually pretty much rule this world, like pretty much are the languages that are used by most of the industry, stay the same pretty much all the time. Like uh, there might be deviations in certain languages, but the main languages, they pretty much just stick around in almost like sort of the same position. It's uh, in my way, in my world of thinking, it's very similar to Formula One, where, you know, you, it used to be that the first positions were already taken and they kind of stuck that way for most of the race. There wasn't all that much dogfighting happening, but in the lower positions, it's actually started, it, you could actually find something very, very interesting, right? And in many ways, I think that this is true for, for programming as well, because if you want to discuss overhyped languages, I would say that anything that isn't these main languages is, well, I'm not saying overhyped, but it, 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 is a, it is a language that has yet to prove its value to the industry to a point where it's actually just accepted that this thing is actually just a, you know, it's just, you can either be, um, well, I'm not saying unproven, but you can either be a language that is widely adopted or you can be a language that isn't widely adopted. And by definition, anything that isn't widely adopted is going to need to be promoted. That's something that I think that we need to kind of think about when we have discussions about what's overhyped, because any, like, unless you are a language that has been around for such a long time or like has been adopted, you're going to have to have evangelists if you want to ever get to that position. So of course you're going to get hyped. Now the languages who are among the most stable, I think if I'm going to give you a short list, I would like the list that I personally believe, personally know is among the most relevant languages, it's going to be JavaScript, Python, Java, C Sharp, C, and C++. Yeah, I think that about covers those seven languages. I think that roughly covers the majority of all what all of the industry uses. This is what Google uses. This is what Facebook, you know, they use PHP, of course, but I mean, they have these languages as well. Uber uses these languages, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And most of like quite, not even at that, it doesn't have to be at that scale. Pretty much uh, all, uh, all uh, IT companies have one of these languages, most of them. Now there are of course exceptions to this, but this, uh, like if you go and look at the different uh, statistics of the different reports that show what languages are the most popular or the like, most used in the workplace, these languages will be at the very top, like very high up on that list. And they 
tend to stay there regardless of, I mean, it's, this list hasn't changed much in quite a few years. So to me, the thing that is overhyped is this idea that new programming languages are in, like anybody who ever say, who tells me that oh this is going to take over or this is going to do that this, I mean it's like literally stating that you're you're not basing that on any facts or anything like that you're basically just stating that oh this thing is going to take over based on the fact that it is adopting popularity well if you think about it of course it's going to adopt popularity if you compare it to the stable languages that pretty much are already proven it's uh, if you are cascade if you're climbing as a language the popularity ladder up towards these top seven top ten positions then yeah you are increasing in popularity but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to actually surpass some of these languages in terms of adoption job availability and so forth because that's the true challenge because the thing that makes these languages so popular is how adopted they actually are it's uh, i mean the, the I, I don't think people really understand what it would mean for a language to become, say, more popular, more adopted than, I don't know, Java or JavaScript or something like that. I, it, it represents, it, mentally you may think that this is something that is feasible, but if you really think about it, we're talking about a change in, like a fundamental change in the programming world. So fundamental, in fact, that it's like, it's an enormous achievement to do this. It's almost like, uh, that, that's why I don't really get on these hype trains as much anymore when it comes to languages, because it's like, I know that they will rise in popularity, but I am conservative when it comes to saying the words, yeah, I think that this is gonna take over or so forth, because I know most of it is hype, because anything that is new, anything that is promoted correctly and like in the public eye is the thing that people get excited about. They don't get excited about Java. They don't get excited about C, because these languages have been around for so long. Who the fuck is going to get excited about the thing that everybody uses when the, it's old news, guys? It's always going to be old news. It's just the thing that everybody uses. It's not exciting. It's not something that people get, you know, get their, you know, they don't, they don't get excited about it, basically. People get excited about Rust and Go and Elixir and these different takes on and different approaches on solving problems that are, if, like, if we're really honest here, they're simply trying to give you something that you can't get from the already existing platforms or the languages that are out there. And I think that anything, or pretty much anything that is uh, trying to prove that it has something more to bring to the table than these seven top languages or like these seven languages is a language that has a little bit of an overhype going. And I think that almost every language becomes overhyped at some point, especially in the beginning of things because it's new and that's exciting. So what I want you to take away from this is that to me, most languages are overhyped because the reality of the situation is that the seven top or like the 10 top languages roughly stay the same pretty much and has been the same for quite some time. These are the languages that most of the industry uses and the other languages are emerging. So it's it, it, it by definition you need to I go well, logically of course you're going to have to promote a new language if you want it to actually become adopted so of course you're going to hype it of course you're going to push for it to be this amazing great thing but until such a time that it actually proves that it can break into this top list of languages it is it's I'm not saying unproven but it has failed to do one of the most fundamental things that is the thing that dictates whether or not a language is truly mainstream or not. And that is to prove that it can, out, like, it can outweigh the use case of another language because these languages are pretty much used for, like, they cover most of the range of things that you do in programming, at least uh, from what I can see. And the, that's the true challenge of a new language. It has to do the thing that these other languages are doing, or at least one of them, and get to a point where it's actually used more for that thing than the already existing counterpart that we use today. And that is a, 
it's a big task. So of course you're going to have to push it quite hard if you wanted to get to that level of popularity. Have a great day.